I will now now act as Speaker pro tem. So what do we know about acting Speaker of the House Patrick McHenry? One thing's for sure, McHenry slams down a mean gavel. So, he's a Republican from North Carolina, he's got a serious bow tie collection, but most significantly, he's serving as Speaker pro tempore, Latin meaning for the time being. He got the job when the House ousted Kevin McCarthy from the speakership. And now, as one attempt after another to elect a new speaker goes down in flames, a speaker has not been elected. Growing chorus in Congress is calling for McHenry to get more power, allowing the House to function until a new permanent speaker is picked. It's seen as a temporary compromise for a guy who used to be adverse to him. McHenry was first elected to Congress in 2004 at 29 years old, known as a firebrand. Look, Chris, you're going to invite me on your show. Let me answer a question, for God's sake. And for his sparring with Democrats. No, Congressman, we had an agreement. You had no agreement. We had an agreement for the time this hearing would have You're making this up, Ms. But later, as he told the Raleigh News and Observer in 2017, he slowed down enough to respect the process. McHenry now chairs the House Financial Services Committee and supported the Trump tax cuts. He voted to certify the 2020 presidential election, pushing back against the hard right wing of his party. Electing a speaker. McHenry has the pro tempore job now, thanks to McCarthy's trust in him if it was ever needed in an emergency. Well, now we're in that emergency, and McHenry has the gavel, but he said he doesn't want the permanent job. Question is, will enough Republicans and Democrats work together to pick him anyway? I have respect for Patrick McHenry. I think he is respected on our side of the aisle. I want to bring in Noah now. Here's the here's the big thing about Patrick. He doesn't actually want to be the speaker from what we've heard from people around him. Yeah, I mean, it seems that he's up to the job for now. But, yeah, he's passed leadership opportunities before. He's got a young family that we know of, and some of his colleagues have mentioned that that is a factor. Plus, you got to ask, who really wants this job? It requires a ton of time, a ton of work. Uh, you have a caucus that's split. You have wars on multiple fronts that you're having trouble funding because there's pushback in Congress. And, you know, at the end of the day here, we have a shutdown that's slated in the next 30 days. So a lot of work. And it seems that he's not really that interested. Republicans still looking for their leader. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.